everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today I am coming at you with Tiffany Co jewelry collection video. This video has been highly requested over time since you guys see me wearing all of these pieces all the time in my videos. I'll go through one by one each item that I have with name, size, price, and experiences that I've had from wearing them. At the end of this video, I'll also show you guys how I clean them. So let me put the camera down here so you guys can see them probably better. I prepare this uh, giant big pillow right here to put the jewelry box on the top. So hopefully you guys can see them in a closer look and better way. Okay, so the first piece that I have, of course, is from Tiffany & Co. The name of it is Return to Tiffany Heart Bracelet. The retail price is $300 here in the US. As you guys can see, there is rose gold finish metal in the middle of this bracelet uh, mixed with sterling silver chains. It's two different separate chains that is attached to the tag right there. The other side chain is exactly the same. Two different chains attached together. It's really thin and dainty. On the back of it, there is a little clasp right there and there is a tag. It is written the code number for the item number. I mean, the item number is written right there. And on the other side, it says Tiffany & Co. I'm not exactly sure how exactly, I mean, you pronounce the name of this metal, but I can spell it for you guys. It's R-U-B-E-D-O. Um, you can choose to go with the silver, sterling silver uh, tag with the sterling silver chain. So it can be just a whole silver, but I went with the rose gold finish metal and mixed with the sterling silver chain. So it looks kind of interesting and different. And you're wearing it on your wrist it looks like so you can almost cannot see the chain right there so it looks kind of mystery <laughs> looking like that I absolutely love how girly and how dainty this look um, on the wrist um, you can engrave your initial on the back of this tag right there it will be special and meaningful if you do engraving for someone if you're giving it as a gift. It will be an awesome gift. Um, that is that. One of the things that I don't really like about this bracelet is the metal being pretty heavy. I mean, it's heavier than the chain, of course. So it always um, falls down like so when you're wearing it. So it always goes down right there. So it gets scratched up really bad um, let me show you guys so you guys can see the scratches right there on the tag on the back lots of scratches um, but you know when you're wearing it you cannot really see the scratches far away you only know it the owner knows it but people don't really know it one time I was wearing it in the Tiffany & Co I happened to be there and I had this on. Um, my essay was kind enough to clean it for me uh, with no charge. Normally they charge you a certain amount for each piece. And anyway, she did it. She tried to buff it off the, the scratches, but that's how she did. And still lots of scratches, but she did a good job on it because it was really, really messy. But yeah, I still love it. It looks really lovely and very girly. And normally I don't stack this with other bracelets because it always goes under somewhere and it's gonna get more scratch. And you cannot really see it anyways. And it gets tangled up with the chains, you know. The chain is really small and thin. So I normally wear it by itself and it looks really lovely, I love it. That is that. And the second piece right here that I have is the cuff. It says TN Co right there in the middle and 1837. That's the name of this cuff bracelet. Uh, they call it Tiffany 1837 cuff in sterling silver. So it's all silver all around it. It has good weight to it. It's not too heavy, but I like the weight 
that it has. I absolutely love the finish of its shiny finish and I love the detail. It has a little rope in the middle right there. It's not just solid, you know, cut like on the bottom. Um, love it. Little detail that just gets me a lot of times with the things like this. Love, love, love how chic and sleek it looks on the wrist. It comes with the narrow side. With This is a narrow one and they do have the thicker size one so you can choose. Uh, mine is in size medium. It only comes with size medium and large. It doesn't come with the small but I think it's because you can also squeeze this part and it becomes smaller on your wrist. But, so that's what you can do and it looks like so. It looks really really good sticking with other bracelets together. Um, so on your preference, I, I like to wear it by self also when I don't have to be looking dressy or things like that. It looks dressy enough and casual enough. It's easy to put it on and off. It doesn't slip off by itself, um, you know, so you don't really lose it. I love, love, love it. And I absolutely love sticking together with my, um, my watch together because it's a silver color together. Okay, so the next piece that I have is pretty old. I've had it for a long time. Um, this one, they call it Return to Tiffany. Uh, this is a mini heart tag in sterling silver on a bead bracelet and I went with the color pink right here. This is enamel uh, pink. It comes with mint color which is the uh, same as Tiffany. Tiffany blue color and you can choose just silver total uh, without enamel. So a lot of people ask me if this gets peel off or scratches. I don't see peeling or scratches at all right there as far as this animal goes. Uh, love it. So cute. Love, love, love. I love dainty uh, jewelry just in general. So love, love it so much. I wore this straight for maybe a year I believe um, without just taking it off. Uh, it does change the color because it's silver but you can always clean it. I'll show you guys uh, soon in this video. So that is that. I love the color right there and I actually got this three or four uh, of the same one in just different. The mint one and silver one, just the preference whoever I was giving it to. I gave many ones uh, my family member. Uh, my husband family member like so so they all love it so much it becomes really really great gift and the price is not too bad it's 150 and Tiffany and Co and it comes with the uh, dust bag like so it's really cute it says Tiffany and Co right there it's the drawstring dust bag like so I love the color especially and it comes with really uh, sturdy box and they always tie it really pretty. Okay, that is what I got. And this, the next one right here, I actually took a note next to me. So if I am leaning over there, that's because of that. Um, so this one, they call it Return to Tiffany Heart Tag in silver with enamel finish on a bracelet. It's a mint color, like I said, right there. It's the mint right there. It's exactly the Tiffany blue color, as you guys can see. And I got the size medium. I could have gotten size small, so it's kind of big on me. I wish I got smaller one. Um, but it still works on me, you know, and I love it. It's the, uh, I think the chunkiest um, piece that I have from Tiffany & Co. So it's 355. The price is really good in my opinion for being this much silver. And it is from Tiffany & Co. And it will last for a long, long, long time. Even with heavy enamel, it doesn't peel off or scratches as you guys can see. Love it. Absolutely cute, 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 cute piece. 
love it. It's pretty chunky and so I normally wear it by itself. I don't stick together. So it goes like this. It's very lovely piece. It will be a great gift as well. Everything actually. Okay, so next one is Return to Tiffany. Again, bead bracelet. This is what they call bead bracelet, as you guys can see, it's like beads together, sticking together. So, bead bracelet, this is in the 8 millimeter bead. Uh, they do have the bigger size, which is 10 millimeter, I think, and it doesn't come with the tag. This tag doesn't come with it, so I went with this one. I wanted to get the bigger size, but they said I cannot have the tag in the middle, so I went with this one and I am absolutely 100% happy with this piece. This is probably my favorite um, uh, after this cuff one, I think. I don't know. I love this cuff. It's really easy to put it on. But this one and other bracelets are all kind of hard to put it on. That's why I have this one on so you guys can see how it looks on me when, I'm, when I have it on. So I cannot show you guys because uh, it's going to take a, for a long time. Um, so this one doesn't come with the enamel, I think. If, if so, then you can choose, I believe, but I don't remember exactly. Um, I'm not sure for it, but anyways, that's that. And this one retails 275 I think it's a great, great piece with that price. Um, love Tiffany & Co. Sterling Silver lines. Uh, they are not too pricey, but they last for a long, long time and they're very, very sturdy. And the name is just, you know, Tiffany & Co. Cannot go wrong. Love it so much. Okay. That's the, uh, that's the, another bracelet. Okay. The next is right this bracelet that I have this is small bow in sterling silver on a bead bracelet that's what they call it and it costs two hundred dollars so this one is 150 this one being same but the bow maybe was harder to make I guess so it was two hundred dollars here in the US and I love it love how cute is that absolutely love it i'm not sure who that was but when i saw this one uh on instagram someone's post and i was like oh i just love it so cute and girly i'm a really girly girl so i love anything that's really girly and i have a whole collection of it it's exactly the same uh necklace right here this necklace was 175 of course here in the u.s as you guys can see it's really turnished uh the color became like gray i wanted to show you guys the example of it when the sterling silver turn um old like so it becomes like gray like really dark and you can even hardly see any shininess you know I will clean this one so I didn't clean it before this video so I can show you guys how I clean. So this one they call it bow pendant in sterling silver and they call I mean the size of this bow is mini they also have medium size they don't have small this one is mini uh, so it costs 175 and the medium size bow is 250. I got the mini size, which is, I think it's almost the same as my earrings. It's the same. You guys can see this one is shinier. I didn't wear this one as much. And this one I wore straight over a month, I think. And of course, I was in the shower with it. So it changed the color like that. It does change over time, but it doesn't change just one or, you know, two days or so. So... Don't be, don't be afraid of it but anyway so this is the earrings that matches with my bracelet also so that's the really dainty earrings um, you guys can see this is the bow earring I am not exactly sure if it comes with the bigger size 
I hope they do because this is really small. This is the one of, I mean, this is the one that I wear the least. I, uh, I have a lot of hair and so I have a lot of hair around my ears also. So if I wear something like this small, you really cannot see, even I cannot even see, um, see them on me <laughs> even when I'm wearing them. So I don't know, I don't wear them that much, but I adore it. It's <laughs> so small and very, very cute. Um, okay, next one I have is the one that I get most asked on my channel because I wear this today I took it off so I can show you guys closer this one is the one a lot of you guys ask me what what am I wearing what are you wearing in your video what are you wearing what are you wearing I get asked a lot so in this video I will tell you guys again I've talked about many times uh, on my channel but this is the um, Elsa this is a, have a, a whole collection of it it's a diamond by the yard collection I chose the rose gold chain you can choose the yellow gold or silver which is a lot less pricey this one is rose gold chain with the diamond 0 0.7 I mean 0.7 white right uh, yeah and I'll put the a link to this exact same one since uh, a lot of you guys asked me so I it cost 1250 exactly I think but I'm not sure they do go up the price at Tiffany & Co so yeah that's how much I paid for it it's so lovely it looks so 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 cute you guys have seen this a lot on my channel so I would just go back I mean you know go next to it but I do want to say is that you can choose the size of this stone the diamond smaller and bigger you can customize the you know size for it so good to know that right and next bracelet I mean necklace that I have I've had this for a good amount of time also this one is Return to Tiffany Mini Double Heart Tag Pendant in Sterling Silver with Enamel Finish. And this is the inch, uh, 16 inch chain right here. So it sits on me very nicely on a good spot. And there is double, a <laughs> little, little dainty double heart tag. I love it cute is that oh so cute you can choose the pink also i think uh sorry guys i didn't check that but anyway i went with the mint color love it so much one is mint right here and one has no color and it also just have return to tiffany new york things like that love it it looks so cute I was kind of afraid to get it when I was thinking, I mean, you know, uh, deciding at the store because the color, I thought I have to match the outfit or things like that. But being so small right here, uh, it's just, just a little, you know, hint of color. Love it. It looks so good with the white uh, top, like what I'm wearing, you know, something like that. It looks summery. I love it so much. It was 125, so the price is just you cannot beat it. I think um, even with this, it can be matchy matchy. Uh, I believe you can. I mean, if you choose the mint color, turquoise color right here, then it it can be matchy matchy, right? And this one is a little bit more than the bracelet. I mean, the necklace. Sorry, guys. Um, that is that and the next piece here I wear a lot also um, it's the one and only ring that I have from Tiffany & Co I love this piece the first time I saw it was also Instagram oh my goodness Instagram just inspires me a lot um, this 
I mean the picture that I saw was a thinner size one it comes with the this is the thickest one that you can choose and it also come with the smaller size uh, which is like half thickness of this one they call this one um, Tiffany Lux ring in sterling silver with diamonds so you guys can see there is dainty dainty small two diamonds right here next to the lock right here it's like a lock it's so cute when you're wearing it let me show you guys you can see the lock there and it has t and co right here and it says nu new york very shiny love it and it cost 500 dollars it's the most expensive one that i have from tiffany and co love it so much and i normally wear it in the middle finger right there I cannot take it off normally, I mean easily, so, well, I can do that. So I have it right there, looks so good, together with just any silver tone uh, jewelry, goes well, and it just becomes a statement piece of ring, love it so much, but it does get a lot of scratches on the bottom of this area, and it becomes kind of dull, it's not shiny at all on the bottom here. But, you know, who cares, right? <laughs> this part doesn't have, um, I believe it, yeah, it does have scratches, but you cannot really see it's still shiny. That is that. And next piece that I have, actually, I didn't get to written, uh, write it down. So I will just show you guys. I had to uh, pay separately for the chain itself and also the tag, uh, the charm. So the charm, I believe it was about 500 or less than that. This is like luck. It's the same as my ring right there. Doesn't have the diamond next to it, but it does say Tiffany & Co. right here on this side. It's the heart. As you guys can see, I love, love heart shape. Uh, it's about, just about anything. I love heart shape. It really gets me. I don't know something about it. It's really shiny. It's exactly the same on the other side. And it just goes like so. So the chain, I think, I'm not sure how much I pay for the chain. But um, yeah, that's that. So chain was uh, 18 inches, I believe. It's longer than 16, so it's 18. Love it so much. That's the biggest piece uh, of necklace that I have and next I have is so I have three different uh, earrings from Tiffany & Co. this one is the most worn and most loved <laughs> of course I absolutely love this piece but one thing that I want to say is that there is a lot of imitation or what well, I don't know if Tiffany & Co. first made them but um, you can get them just about anywhere, just kind of similar like this in a lower price, I believe. I'm not sure how much they cost, but I think Tiffany & Co. doesn't charge too much, in my opinion, um, with the name brand like that. Anyway, so this is the bead bracelet, I mean the earrings. This is actually bigger size, a lot bigger. I think it's... 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter. I think I chose the biggest bead uh, for the stud earring. So that's the difference. And I think it goes so well together, like so. Actually, these, all of them, they all go so well each other, um, combo together. This one is very casual. I, I just have casual lifestyle. So I wear these the most out of all the jewelry that I have actually love them so much okay next one actually I have a story to it I this is a heart tag bracelet I mean sorry guys it's earrings oh my goodness I need to wake up right so that's the oh so cute okay so this is the how shiny it is uh, when you just get it. This is brand new because 
Uh, I used to have one and when I had that, I gave to my friend. She really loved them on me so I was like, you can have them. Um, so I did that and I missed them. So bought it recently, like um, about a week ago and I haven't worn them so this is how shiny it comes when you just freshly just get them. Love them so much. These. Oh, looks so good with just about everything. Okay, just that's what I always say. And quickly, it's getting really... Um, so quickly, I will show you guys how you can clean this. You guys can see how much I cleaned uh, my thing. It's so dirty, so nasty. Sorry, guys. But yeah, so this cleaning cloth you can buy at Tiffany uh, my essay she is so nice she gave it to me for free when I I don't know I didn't even ask but she just gave it to me I think it's like $10 I think or $15 so you can buy this it's different than the the pouch that it comes with even though the color is same so it has really really soft luxurious uh, type of cotton um, it's the cloth. So, look at the gray color, the dull uh, color silver hardware. I will clean. When I clean it, of course, I do it gently. Just anywhere. Um, we'll have this uh, here. And look. I just buff it for what how long um, you can see the dirty <laughs> the dark color right here it cleans up like so how different is that with the chain right there chain I clean it like put it like this way and you can just see that the line right there just I clean it this way I just clean them once in a while uh, I don't have any schedule for it just clean them when I see them looking old and dark and I just clean them like just you know softly gently like so then it becomes very very clean and shiny looking like brand new of course when you get it cleaned up at the store it looks so much better actually looks like you know when you just got it for the first time but you just clean just little by little like so it becomes very very shiny look at that how oh, cute yay <laughs> so that is my collection so far yeah so I am very very happy with this collection that I have and if you have any question about Tiffany & Co, whatever I know of, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, and oh, did I say, yeah, I think I said that my favorite pieces, I will say this uh, bracelet, if I lose it I, or somebody steal it, I will run out the door and get one. This is one piece that I will do that and also the earrings I will absolutely choose this earring I just love it so much and the bracelet I mean the necklace of course you guys know how much I love that's why I wear it all the time it goes well with everything and anything so yeah three pieces that I love absolutely and this ring oh my goodness that is that and I will try to leave all the information down below so you guys can all check them out again and I'll get back to you next time bye bye guys